So now we're going to finish up the last two segments in our finding slope from each representation foldable. We're going to find out to find slope from ordered pairs first, and then we'll finish up with finding slope in an equation. So to find slope from ordered pairs, we're going to open it up on the inside. We're in this segment today, right now. So, and again, we're still working on this one, from ordered pairs. Okay, and I'm just going to show you again um, in the example down here in the bottom. So the first thing that I do is I connect the Y's over top. And to find the difference in the Y's, I can just do negative 3 minus negative 6. And then on the bottom, I'm going to use a different color here for the bottom part to show I connect the X's, the X coordinates on the bottom. And that's 2 and 5. And I started with negative 3 to negative 6, so in the bottom I start with 2 because that goes with the negative 3. So 2 is the X coordinate that goes with the negative 3 Y coordinate. So 2 minus 5. And then I evaluate each of those expression to get the ratio. So I'm going to have an answer on the top for the change in the y's, and then I'll have an answer on the bottom for the change in the x's. So on the top, negative 3 minus negative 6, when I evaluate that or I use my calculator, I'm going to get 3. And then on the bottom, when I do 2 minus 5, I'm going to get negative 3. So then I'll have m is equal to, when I simplify this, this is negative 1. My slope for this particular set of ordered pairs is negative 1. Okay, so we're still finding the difference in the y's. I guess I should label this step 1. Subtract the y's. And then we subtract the x coordinates. in the same order that you subtracted the y coordinates and then you write it as a ratio and then you simplify that ratio if it can be simplified leave it improper if it is improper okay and the ratio that we write is whatever the y change is over the x change and something that you guys are going to see a whole bunch is this right here, the slope formula. And what they will do is they'll list it as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And what they're doing is they're getting really specific about which y coordinate and which x coordinate. So I'm going to go back to my example, 2, negative 3. I'm going to erase this stuff. And focusing on this example again, but in a different way, if we use the formula. So if I label this, this is x, I'm going to use a smaller size there. Well, that worked. All right, try that again. This is x1, and this is y1. It's x's and y's still. And then on the other ordered pair, I have x sub 2. This is the second x, and this is the second y. So then, in my formula, where I have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, I just plug in the right thing in the right place. So I could get negative 6 is y sub 2, y sub 1 is negative 3, and then I do the x's, x sub 2 is 5, x sub 1, or excuse me, yes, x sub 1 is 2, so then I'm going to have negative 3 here, positive 3 here, 
and I still get a slope as negative 1. Okay, very good. Now, after doing all of that, you're going to love finding slope from a slope-intercept equation because it is so easy. There's no math here. You just got to know which one is the slope out of the number, out of the equation, and it's any mini, miny, mo. I've got the slope. It's the one in front of the x, to the left of the x. It's the x coefficient. So under this tab, where we're finding slope from an equation this time, we're in the last tab now. There it is. Whatever the coefficient is for the x, that is your slope. Okay, and I'll go ahead and tell you too, the b variable is representing the y-intercept, the point at which that line is crossing the y-axis. So, scrolling down to our examples, y-intercept, we don't care about just yet, but we will. So we're looking for the slope. That's all it says. Find the slope. M is negative 2. Next, slope. Whatever your x coefficient is, 1 fourth. Uh-oh, I don't have one. And we've talked about this before. If there is not a number there, there is an understood 1 as a coefficient. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.